Well, yesterday, the Mega Millions jackpot jumped to $627 million. While some people have dreams of striking it rich, scammers see this as a major opportunity. Our Seattle station sat down with a couple targeted by a scammer using promises of lottery money to lure them in. Outside a DuPont bakery. Lemon meringue pie is my favorite. Mary and Russell Wilson share their story of nearly becoming victims. I immediately knew it was a scam. A lottery scam. Mary got a text from someone claiming to be a recent Oregon lottery winner, offering to share 275 grand with others. All she had to do was give someone a call to plan it all out. I do worry about all the other people uh, that do, and I said, I'm the demographic. I'm 70 years old, and um, a lot of people that are older get scammed eat more easily by these things. The Federal Trade Commission has actually been warning about these scams recently. Sometimes they come through social media or by email or in this case by phone. The grab is simple. They're telling you they need your bank information so that they can make a deposit when in reality they're likely looking to steal from your account. It's mean. It's sad. I, I mean, um, it's bad people. The FTC warning, don't ever pay to get a prize, ignore free money posts, and never send money to someone you meet online. Thankfully, the Wilsons thought it through. When we catch these things, and I guarantee there's a lot of people who don't. Right. And that's why they're sharing their story, in hopes of spreading the word. It used to be that it was easy to identify scams because misspelled words, poor punctuation, um, could tell that things were just copied, but now it's a lot of it's hard to catch. If it's too good to be true, it's not true. In DuPont, Jim Nelson. Don't fall for it. King 5 News.